Okay, hello everybody. You might be wondering why did I do this. I just did this so you have the plugins list right at the beginning. So you can, um, you know, so you can like compare it to your own if you intend to recreate my list. But beware, some of these mods have uh, manual installation stuff because I did some stuff in my ENB host in with virtual memory RAM so game runs better and all that stuff. Um, yeah. As you see I got the uh, 0.64.0 mod because I had uh, I needed it because I had a bug with a mod and it actually it literally said you need the new Nexus mod manager that you can actually only download manually so um, yeah um, let's go over the mods I will go over them by categories right now I'm maxed out at 255 sometimes when I'm I don't want to use anything I am just you know um, deactivating some stuff and activating more stuff because I got some stuff that I actually want to activate for tomorrow's um, continuation more XP from quest because I believe right now you get way too, too less because we played 18 hours already and I'm only level 7 or something and cat deco floors and more I kinda want so I can change floors and stuff um, yeah so let's go over the categories and I tell you a little bit about it where, it where it can go in the load order. So we have animation. MCG female walk is basically only something that makes the, the walking animation for females a little bit better. Uh, then we have swinging animated meat bugs. That's basically just how you see on the bottom right. Meat bags, they swing a little bit, so it is a little bit more immersive and creepy. Grab the damn mag is very essential kind of because uh, Fix, fixed uh, reload animations and all that stuff. Button lowered weapons is very important because you can lower your weapon uh, with the reload button instead of just holstering it inst instantly or just running around all the time with a uh, drawn uh, out gun. Then we have, oh and it doesn't really matter, you can actually activate them right in the, in the beginning and then forget them. Uh, same goes for armor stuff, basically. You can just activate them uh, at the end or at the beginning doesn't really matter. We have the new post nuclear outfit, the overboss outfit, wasteland armor, the uh, apple seed armor, uh, the cursor power suit, uh, black widow armor on Pippa, but the Pippa is deactivated, pamper set, uh, this basically just loot stuff, but there's one body suit in there that I kind of like. Uh, the red headgear, some headgears, sushi's wardrobe is kind of awesome, there's a lot of um, different awesome armors in there that look very unique and of course the extended version then we have tactical armor that Ellen has in our playthrough cross cursor strigi day or something I mean you saw that on the top list probably by now and of course the most important one armor smith extended and the all DLCs patch and Eli's armor compendium and as you see of course I have CBBE uh, Sound of Silence, it removes the annoying comment music. Uh, again, doesn't matter where you install it or when you install it. Install it, doesn't matter. This is um, Commonwealth Warfare Explosions, is just that explosions sound better and all that stuff. And I removed the ear ringing sounds because they got kind of annoying very quick and also when you throw a molotov you also have ear ringing and that's a little bit weird so yeah more crisper realistic sounds and sometimes you get really scared by these explosions especially when I change a building plan for my house it's really loud ambient wasteland um, puts a whole shit ton of like random ass noises about uh, in the whole game you know mixed the game world feel a little bit more alive and immersive. Uh, this here is also very good. Um, I, I, I mean, it's still working. It's realistic gun sounds and bullet cracks. 
and louder better bullet cracks so it's basically like an armored assault like when you shoot you hear the cracks in the distance and all that stuff reverb and ambience overhaul all DLC of course you need that makes weapon sounds more re realistic for everybody and clicker fight ghouls so ghouls sound like from the last of us also doesn't matter where you install this uh, Wasteland Codex is kind of cool, but it's uh, the, the voice codex by the storyteller. We still have to uh, listen to some of his stuff. You know, he explains you kind of the history of everything. Like, uh, like the different enemy types, places, and all that stuff. Um, bug fixes, we have a wetness shader fix, because I, uh, it was, I had him, um, stuff was too wet from my perspective uh, so you can turn it down a little bit with the wetness so it looks better of course unofficial Fallout 4 patch essential uh, better install the unofficial Fallout 4 patch the first mod you should install every time is the patch Beantown Interiors project is um, makes Concord more open all that stuff so you can basically you know, it's a little neat mod. Um, cheats and gods items. Oh yeah, it's a spawn settler button. It's just sometimes it takes so long, you know, that settler spawn and you want to have some fun, do some stuff, build some stuff. So you can simple spawn settlers with a click in, um, what is it, in sanctuary? And then you can send them off to wherever you want, you know? Or if you, for example, say you want only good looking settlers and all that stuff, because when you spawn them, basically they all look different. And when you don't like one, for example, you can spawn him and then you can disable him or mark for delete and get the next one, you know, until you have your perfect, perfect settlement, a perfect settler, for example. It's a very um, good idea where you don't need to use the console. Uh, clothing. Oh, I forgot that I have these um, earring stuff. Uh, the kite handmaiden, of course, awesome um, armor that I still need to craft. Uh, the JC bikini is basically only for uh, so the nudity goes away in the game, so everybody has underwear. And this is a set extended that I wanted because you know, new bodysuits, versions, colors, all that stuff. Uh, clothing backpacks, of course, backpacks of the Commonwealth. I think I made them work now. There was an update, so they should work now. Everything until now is still, you can just activate it and forget it. Collectibles, bubbled hot followed for heads edition. Simple, they got like their unique looks. Companions, uh, deeper thought, Curie, um, better and more dialogue, more expressive, Valentine Reborn. You know, makes them better, all that stuff. Uh, this is a Moira version for Kate. Um, Wintermute is a companion that I can later spawn in. And I can customize her completely. You know, like in the character creation kinda. So you can have an awesome, cool Sin follower. Uh, custom body add-on. Mm, yeah, it's extra stuff for customizing. Follower tweaks, of course. That's kinda good. Better companions, makes companions better with perks and all that kind of stuff. Uh, companion accuracy boost is very interesting mod actually because it makes your companions actually shoot and hit stuff. You probably saw it in my, actually, in my playthrough, I have three companions with me right now. And if I don't have this mod, if I shouldn't have it, they probably wouldn't actually kill stuff. But with this like companion boost they actually shoot and hit stuff. I mean, I, kill, I can still die in one, two shots, but right now I have kind of like one good gun that actually kills stuff uh, very quick, but it can be that I'm just level 7, and the higher I get, the more harder the enemies get, kind of. Um, companion affinity is kind of useless right now, so I'm actually thinking about maybe deactivating that, but I like it that I get stuff like his uh, her um like Kate like that or dislike that and that gives gives you some information sometimes. Heather and Ellen of course two very awesome uh companions and of course Platinum Curie for later when I get her like the 
the human version. Also, it doesn't matter here what you activate, but if you want to be sure, activate companion actory boost and amazing follower tweaks and better companions, Heather and Ellen. Um, activate him as far down as possible. I mean, when you saw my plugins list and you see them, I mean, you, you know where they are and you know it works. Crafting, I have connectable electropoles. Um, I wanted that because there are yeah, huge electric pulse how we know them in front of our door because they are very big they look good they fit on the street northling digger resources it's i don't have it um that much but it's good for resources and jobs and landscapes and stuff uh, passive water resources is basically uh, water storage tanks and water towers and animated rainwater collectors it's for passive water stuff so it's very cool Brighter Settlement Lights uh, has three versions. Um, I have the very soft one, so they shine a little bit more, but not too much. Uh, Fallout Theme Custom Paintings, self-explanatory, functional displays, it's for weapons, so you can show them off. Not Your Average Neon Sign is also very interesting. There is a new version. Let me just quickly see that. 15 January when did I download that 20 wait what why does it say 1 1.6 1.4 1.6 1.4 1.4 1.4 oh that is weird but anyway it's the neon signs that are very cool especially because you get your own letter letter letters and can do your own stuff Scrabble Commonwealth, of course, is very good, so you can scrap basically everything. This is also very important, increases the build limit extremely, so you can build stuff and the limit on the top right uh, increases way slower. Build your own pool is not uh, only good to build pools, but also like, if I wanted, I could fill out my whole sinkhole where I am right now, and I can make a big C. But I had to like, path up, um, like, make sure that settlers don't run in there because I don't know if they will still run down into the water and drown because of the nuff mesh from the ground. I don't know if they uh, acknowledge the pool water. But I definitely want to make the water in the sinkhole a little bit higher. So I'm actually thinking about making a little sea down there. Do it your shelf, clutter, stuff, so you can make books, cases that look very immersive. Creatures is creepy monsters of the wasteland, of course, so they look like more, well, not ugly, but more fearsome. Environment is, I am um, activated actually Vivid Fallout one and all in one again, because I deactivated my ENB. I had um, PRC, like Photorealistic Commonwealth. But now you see I have, uh, where is it, ENB stuff. And it says, uh, what is it, Film Workshop. I'm using Film Workshop at the moment. I already tested it a little bit and it looked, um, it looked really good. Then I have the Water Roads and the Bridge remade in Sanctuary. So the bridge is like fixed now, looks better and the waterways look very interesting. Um, and clean water, so the water looks cleaner and better, because I like it a little bit more aesthetic. Um, by the way, <clears throat> just to be clear, if you need help with anything, um, it's not like I'm like there are so many people talking here in the comments. So if you have a question, I will try to answer immediately and help you with your problem because I'm doing mod stuff couple of years, um, like five, six years or something, and I've seen a lot of problems and I remember most of the problems how to fix them. And even if I don't know how to fix them, I'm pretty good at finding stuff out over Google. And um, you can ask me if you need help, if you want to know something about something specific about the mod, about the load order, about anything related to modding on Fallout 4, you can just ask me and I kinda try to help you. Um, 
Life dismemberment is pretty good for shooting off arms, uh, legs, all that stuff. But maybe I deactivate it soon because I'm not saying it doesn't work, but it doesn't happen that often. I mean, people kind of die so quick that it doesn't make any th sense. So maybe I deactivate this. Yeah, let's deactivate that right now. Oh, and by the way, it activates five ESPs at once, so you have deactivate four and choose your setting if you activate this. Right? Okay, so... Even more... Double. So that you need so much more EXP, I think double is okay. EXP for crafting... Yes, of course, I get EXP from crafting. What is ESL? Yeah, I use the ESP version. And it didn't even overwrite stuff from Horizon, so I hope it will work. Uh, Fallout for hotkeys is of course very important because of VAFs, so you can set your own hotkeys. For example, my slowdown is on Q and my, uh, like, the VATS thing is on Z, even though I'm left-handed. Sometimes it's good to scan people with Z, so you know if they are friendly or not. Unlimited survival mode gives you good settings, so you can like activate sa quick save again, fast travel, all that stuff. Splinters is pretty cool to like break down doors and stuff. Sometimes it comes in handy, sometimes not. Depends. Maybe a mod I, I can deactivate because I'm very short of stuff, but yeah, let's deactivate that. I mean, it's a cool mod, but I need it for the ground floors, so I can activate it. Uh, Vavs, of course, explains itself, is for the slow motion and all that stuff. Give me a minute is that I can choose something to answer. Maybe I deactivate that later, but for now I keep it. Or do I deactivate it? Hmm. No, let's keep it. I'm a fast talker in the game anyway. So it doesn't really matter. But if you don't like it that they like don't give you five seconds to answer, you can activate that mod. Uh, this mod is very important, like they changed 800 dialogue lines in the game, I believe. And you have shit ton of points you can start as, you can choose your own story, and you basically are not the main character anymore, because they changed the quest lines, like how you talk and stuff. Uh, knockout Framework is deactivated at the moment, but if you're like making an un unarmed gameplay mod uh, playthrough, you can use this to like knock people out, rob them, all that stuff. Easy hacking is just so I can choose one thing when I hack and act like instantly have the option I need, because I hated the mini game. Beastmaster is very good for specific playthroughs, or maybe later when I can actually capture a death claw and made it my com make it my companion. So that's very interesting. You basically can have every enemy um, animal in the game as your companion. You can even give them custom paint, names, all that stuff. Uh, longer power lines is very, very good. How you saw, I ma made an extremely long power line from my house to the sign, so it can get light. Uh, move, get out of the way is basically... It increases the distance traveled by followers or NPCs when you bump into them and cuts the reaction time in half so they don't uh, block stuff. Okay, hair, face and body. Now hair, face and body I would actually install at last because the thing you don't want is bugs with your textures. So I got a teeth mod that is pretty awesome that as you see here it gives you teeth at the bottom and top and it doesn't have the bug with the black hole in the middle so you actually see teeth uh, this is anime eyes is, is, is weird but some of the eyes are pretty cool um, because you can make an insanely interesting weird looking character um, the hair colors I may be deactivating because but only after I change my hair color don't want to get like invisible hair and stuff because it's nice to have all these weird hairs but it's too much to scroll through and I better s stick to the normal stuff. Uh, Wandering Scavia Eyes is interesting for you if you like to have, like, for example, left 
left eye yellow, right eye blue, you know what I mean? This stuff. And it has custom lashes. I have long eye long eyelashes that I think look okay. If I don't like them anymore, I just deactivate them. Nothing serious. Uh, looks menu body tattoos just gives you tattoos as you see on my character you can choose that in the character creation uh, this is just a preset I use so I can play around more with the face instead of starting with an ugly normal one uh, what is Samantha again no this is the preset I used yeah Samantha yeah uh, this is a very good hair mod KS Hados, Apache Sky here, etc. etc. Uh, Waste and Saloon makes the hair textures a little bit better. Ponytail hairstyles, of course, some specific um, hairstyles. Um, appealing molds, I don't use them because I hate molds, but you need them for some mods that I use. Um, immersion. Um, that is stuff, I believe it doesn't matter. Yeah, CWSS Redux. You can craft working showers, sinks, baths, etc. Very cool. Remove helmet and dialogue. Uh, that's very interesting if you don't like it when you have your helmet on and talking in a dialogue. It just removes them and then re equips it later. Immersive footsteps overhaul. It's very cool. You hear the clothing, like the clanking and all that stuff. Uh, when you run, uh, player comments and head tracking you can actually make it so your player comments stuff and has head tracking so that's very cool people flashlight is the most important one that I think that's very important because you have a shit ton of lights you can choose from so I basically I don't have an emitting light for my f f um, pet boy so I have a, an actual actually a flashlight and there is a gun I use that has a flash uh, flash no not flash flashlight um, mod and then you see basically the flashlight the light grows through the weapon mod and when you re when you equip the weapon on your back I believe it is again the normal flashlight here we have military MREs it's a meal ready to eat from in military stuff like you can buy it sometimes and it is in military stations because I think it's a little bit more immersive when there are some MREs around Inside jobs is Commonwealth interior add-ons, more unmarked interior locations to the game. Uh, vanilla locations is just better third rail. I have it twice because I believe the other one is a fix. Um, and better good neighbor, of course, when we come to that point. Uh, this clean sanctuary hills up. Um, settlement menu manager. What's this? Um, oh yeah, you can do stuff like if you only want woman to your settlement, you can basically do it with this. For example, you can choose the percentage race ratio, 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 uh, and how you want to handle that. And it said you can put it anywhere you want. Rare input you need for Horizon. I believe it's just a fix for mouse sensitivity disables mouse acceleration and everything that is there in the future list I deactivated that recently because I thought it doesn't make sense at the moment next time I see a Brahmin on the fucking rooftop I just delete it <coughs> here we have uh, one of the most important ones as well armor and weapons keywords community resource Basically, don't even ask. You need it. You really need it. And settlement keywords expanded. You actually, you also need. If you want, you can read it on the right. A little bit. And yeah, doesn't really matter when you install them because they are ESMs, I believe. <coughs> Models and textures. This repairs and cleans uh, the house rooftops. And sanctuary. Um, this is like some when you see on the right some neat floors. The shack floors redone. Uh, mean machine eyes. I wonder what was that again. Let me see. Oh, I 
have these eyes? I need to try them out. Ooh, Hellfire looks great. I didn't even see them because I have so much eyes, but I actually I want to... Or Nova. Yeah, I really need to use them. I actually forgot that I have them. Jeez. Glowing eyes, very simple. Alternative human eyes is also simple. Enhanced blood textures, also self-explanatory. Synth overhaul, overhauls. The synth, synths, if you don't know this. So they look kind of boring in the vanilla game. But here, on the pictures you see, they look a little bit different. Yeah. But it's only visual, I believe. Yeah. Yes. Gem Redux. Uh, reworks the visuals of drugs. Vanilla, vanilla Weapons HD was very interesting. Because I thought, like, really? And then you check it and you see replaces the low poly world models of every single weapon with high poly models. So that's very interesting. Like, let me load this picture up. And there you see the difference. Original, high poly, and then HP HD. You see the difference? It's crazy. So the weapons all look better now. Uh, gore overhaul is like what it says new flash retextures, brain shadows, etc. Components redone is. Yeah, what is this? Uh. Ah, wait, thirty of June. Oh, so I can update these? Okay. Oh, it overhauls the retextures, all the components and stuff, so that's pretty nice. Let me just, let's get the 2K version. Okay, it's only 100 megabytes. Then we have, doo -doo 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 -doo. of course, can't show it. But it's the either body texture, I believe it's the best one, or one of the best ones. Uh, Valkyrie female face and body texture is also one of the best, if not the best, face texture. Uh, of course, CBBE. Then canteens of the Commonwealth. I don't use them at the moment, but it's just nice to know that they are there. Like canteens, how it says. And of course, the eyes of beauty, so they like replace the eyes. In the game, the replacer installer version I have. Mm, then NPC, NPCs travel, that is that like adds 276 more NPCs. And um, because I found out the, what is it called? There's one mod like War of the Commonwealth, War of the Commonwealth or something. Makes your game constantly crash. I had this problem like I had crashes everywhere when like like the the people would spawn in it could like in conjunction with some of my mods that i have actually activated <coughs> but it's just not worth it so i deactivated it and have no had no more crashes since singing settler it's self-explanatory <laughs> um this is just a replacer for desdemona because i choose a railroad playthrough kind of and she looks kind of cool 
in this version. Nice gloves. Uh, what's your name? Gives settlers names, of course, and placeable NPCs. Is just so you can place NPCs uh, if you wanted, for example, robots patrolling the base and stuff. Uh, but it's only like you sh shouldn't spam that stuff. But sometimes you need it, sometimes not. And uh, now the very important overhauls section. But let me just. Is it finished downloading? Yes. Where is it? I think I'm blind. Yeah. I activate it later from the other list. And where was I? Overhauls. Uh, convenient resources is just a balancing that all workshop crops provide equal quantity of one food per crop. The drink stand and bar and restaurant stores now provide food and water balance through all three tiers. That doesn't really matter because I don't use the vanilla bars anymore but I wanted it actually at least for the crops because I hate it when stuff gives 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.5 and some turrets don't need power anymore because of the connectors and connector range gets higher and power switch boxes and all that stuff so that's pretty cool so they you don't have to spam your base with connectors and stuff uh, fem shipping diamond city overhaul is overhauls complete the diamond city um, all the stuff that i'm telling you now horizon and its patches activate horizon stuff at the end of everything and override everything even though it doesn't look like it my plugins list you should put horizon and uh, at the end and all the patches after it um, as simple as it is right now I only have like five to ten mods after horizon but it's not really a problem because they are not like like very heavy mods if you get me um, of course, the Sim Settlement patch, um, Sanctuary NPCs overhaul, so it overhauls some of the NPCs. Maybe I deactivate this. Yeah, I deactivate that because now Murphy and stuff they have Russian names, and I could really, I could really use the slot for another mod. Then we have Wasteland Imports, gets you stuff like dynamite and all other goodies to from New Vegas to Fallout 4. Super Mutant Redux overhauls the Super Mutants and ch add, adds Nightkins and all that stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, this is just an update, update, hotfix, uh, overhauls Church of Atom. Uh, that's pretty interesting. Yeah makes the Church of Atom a little bit more scary, I believe, and not only people with rugs. Not rocks, rugs. And gives them, I believe, different weapons as well. So, that's pretty neat. Then we have overhauled optimized textures, I believe. Do I need them anymore? Let me just see. I downloaded this last year. What? the hell reduce the base <laughs> maybe this makes problems that my textures don't load and stuff let's see what are the box Game freezes via loading textures, character creation troubles. Uh huh. Interesting. I think I should deactivate this mod and see if anything changes in the game performance wise. Uh, then we have unique NPCs, of course. Uh, I will not say it's a very important mod, but, but a very interesting mod because it changes so much, makes NPCs better so that they don't look so weird 
anymore, like plastic, like not really, like maybe Play-Doh sometimes, I don't know. So they actually look like interesting. And now they have tattoos, for example, <clears throat> all that stuff. Mm, won't load. Yeah, anyway. Lux Menu Customization Compendium, very important for me because it overhauls the character creation like it's completely, it's insane. I love it. Then we have 15 patches, it's, there's nothing to explain, it's just patches for stuff in conjunction with Horizon, mostly all of the time. You see Vath's uh, Viz and Sham Redux patch, something for Eli's Armor Compendium, Horizon, Super Mutant Redux, blah blah blah. If you can't find anything of these, like in links, but mostly you will find these exactly on the Nexus under these links. I have no mods from Dragon Pawn or um, what is the other page called? Lower Slab or something. I don't have anything from them. Then I have Pip Boy. It's just a Pip Pad. So it changes the Pip Boy, of course. Player Homes. I have Faction Housing Overhaul. Railroad. So the Railroad Housing looks not so stupid. Then we have, Jesus Christ, 29 player settlement mods. Oh god. Um, oh yeah, I can activate this now. Yep. Uh, Sim settlement, of course, everybody knows it, everybody loves it. Nearly everybody. Um, yeah, can't really explain Sim settlements. I mean, TLDR is on the right. Uh, better warning for settlements when they are attacked. Switchboard settlement, it's the one that you clear out with the railroad. So it's like really cool cleaned up, so maybe we can build something something nice there later in the game. Uh, stackable brick walls and foundations. So you can build interesting stuff like walls and the stadium for example. Snap and build, everybody knows it. Homemaker, everybody knows it. It's a shit of stuff to craft. Uh, Secret executions is for later so we can make a settlement in um, the thicket ex uh, excavations I believe. Um, I try to build here and there but right now I'm only gonna focus until we have one settlement finished because the biggest mistake you can make from my opinion in Fallout 4 is build different settlements at the same time and you burn out pretty quick. Um, yeah. Um, so maybe we build something later because I'm trying to do. I want to uh, make a 100% playthrough of Fallout. I want to play the main game. I want to play Automatron because I never played that. I never played uh, Nuka World and I played only a little bit of the main story in Far Harbor. And beside the game itself, that will take. will be pretty long. I'm gonna play basically every quest mod on the Nexus, so we have a shit ton of content. Um, and this is maybe a little bit out of content right now, but please tell me in the comments if you're still listening. I'm thinking about if my computer lets me, even though I have good specs, very good specs, I wanna try and record my blind playthrough of Final Fantasy XV on the 6th of March because I never played it on console, I don't have a console, and maybe I'm trying myself at mod reviews for Fallout, 50, uh, Fallout 15, what the fuck, Final Fantasy 15, because I heard um, they are making mods, they have mod support, and maybe I do reviews and they are all uncut reviews, so no fancy camera stuff, you see it from my perspective, like how you would see it. So that's my idea on that. If you like that, or if you think it's okay, I should try it, please tell me. Um, CVC with Dead Rising is pretty awesome. It's a massive expansion of like not only dead trees, but you saw it, I put down stones and all that stuff. It has a shit ton of stuff you can work with. This is very important. IDEX logistics station for some settlements, so I can build this in every settlement, and then the chairs, the stuff. 
because normal supply lines don't work anymore with Horizon and Sim Settlement. Sandbag fortifications is sandbag stuff, pretty self-explanatory. Sim settlements, rise of the Commonwealth, uh, is the stuff where they can build huge cities on themselves. Uh, Sim settlement industrial revolution is like industrial stuff and plot for some settlements. How is, well, how like it says, is a how they can actually shoot when you man them. All that good stuff. This is <coughs> all settlements exp extended, like the build area, in s but not home plate. Um, Salvage Beacons is a very good mod. But I use from Horizon, I have two robots now, I can call, I believe. This is just something but walls I believe. Let me check. Yeah, it's if I if I ever need it like really huge walls. Yeah. If I ever need it that's that's the point. Better settlers Add 230 new settlers to the vanilla settler selections, of course. You see on the right here you can choose settlers and raiders, etc. Spring cleaning is removal of trash and clutter objects that are originally unable to be scrapped. Uh, Workshop rearranged, rearranged the workshop, how it says, very important, kinda. Auto doors, I don't use, I don't even understand them, so give me the place. Oh, okay, another slot that I can have, nice, I have five more <laughs> slots for new mods, cool. Jesus. And Conquest, that's the mod that you need so you can build everywhere you want, basically. Very simple. Power Armor, I have... Uh, yeah, the Hellfire one. Light sounds for the Power Armor to move. A submersible Power Armor from Bioshock inspired. Uh, better looking armor frames. You see that on the top right. I have the red black version, I believe. The Enclave Power Armor. The Skyrim one that I actually have in the game already, I grabbed it. Um, I have that in Red Rocket, I believe, stationed. I have to get that. Then I have, yeah, that's a hotfix and paintings for the normal ones that are very good looking. Quests, I have America. Oh yeah, I wanted to activate that. Does it work now? Because last time I got an error. Oh, wait, it activated. Very good. Okay. Uh, Tale of the Enclave, America Rising. Then Vault 1080. Already cleared that at the beginning episodes, and I was surprised on how much ammo they stored. So I got a little bit lucky. Collector's Guides that basically helped me to find everything. Like stuff you actually had to look for hours and hours. Combat Zone Restored is the only mod you basically should have at the bottom of your load order because if you only want to grab Kate doesn't matter but if you have it not on the bottom of your load order basically and I'm not only meaning like p putting the plugin on the bottom just activate this mod the last time at the last mod basically otherwise you have like weird light glitches and void stuff and missing textures and everything in the combat zone and the code I have no idea what it is I only know it's a great uh, quest mod apparently radio of course I have old world radio 2 and old world radio Boston shit ton of radio stuff uh, of course when I use them I get stuff gets claimed but 
in a week or so stuff can't be monetized anymore until you have 1000 subs and 4000 hours of accumulated watched hours um, the past 12 months so that will take some time to get this um, so I don't really care about stuff getting claimed anymore so we have can, f have, can have some fun with that uh, this is I don't remember what that is face swap for Kate face swap wait I can't use this. I mean, maybe that's why Kate looks a little bit weird. Actually, that it's maybe the problem. So let's deactivate that and have a new slot. A new look for Piper. That is very, very kind of okay. Uh, user interface, I have better console that shows you actually the stuff that you click in in console, so that's very good. HUD framework, of course, it's with compatibility patches and all that stuff you need so that custom HUDs work. Uh, unofficial Horizon sorting items mod that is just so that is uh, Horizon has its own sorting mod, kinda, instead of Vald Valder seals. HUD shows you, for example, if you grab something, what uh, what resources has this item and how much weight it adds to you. Mod configuration menu is basically self-explanatory. Extended dialog interface, most important, uh, ex extends the dialog interface and you can actually see now what part you choose, uh, what will end the conversation and what will continue the conversation, what is a question, all that. Looks menu, how I said, it's uh, like the companion change is the character overall. So you activate the looks menu and then the companion. Floating health bars is just so you can see individual individual health bars about your friends and enemies. Dev UI is just makes the UI a little bit better. Dialogue camera sensitivity is when you are in a conversation and you move the mouse. It's uh, way slower so you don't like get turned around and make 180 in a conversation. Hard framework you need uh, yeah what I said this is just a compatibility patch but this is the main one and this is a very awesome colored map that shows you like stuff like where magazines are, bobbleheads, armor locations it's a very detailed look of the map. <clears throat> Utilities Body Slide Outfit Studio basically need this for some stuff just to be there but I don't use it Vehicles, uh, it was a player home, it's a boat, but I kind of decided I do not need it right now. But if you want to play, some, somebody has something to do with boats, it's kind of the mod you need. Uh, visuals and graphics, it's extreme particles overhaul, got a new patch and now it works for me. Last time I got lag, now not, so it works for me, looks better, like particles and stuff. Radioactive science makes uh, the science in the game better. I show you an example. You see, like neon signs actually work in villages, cities, and stuff like that. So that's pretty neat. Uh, cross crit go overhaul basically makes it so, for example, when you hit somebody with a laser weapon, their flesh gets burned off, or with a flamer gets shard, all that stuff, you know, but it doesn't work like all the time because some weapons are modded, but let's just reinstall it just be in case. So it's at the bottom of the load order again. Exactly. Okay. Deluxe makeup is, for co of course, better deluxe stuff. And weather, I have knack because I, my opinion, it, it adds the best weather. And you can uh, basically knack enhanced. You can basically have a fake ENB in your game without needing the ENB stuff. So you can basically change saturation. 
and all that stuff. But I have it, I have it deactivated, but sometimes you need it. And of course, 40 weapon mods. Now. Uh, China and Lake Holo Rifle are deactivated because they are in a, in a merged version um, that I tell you in a little bit about. Cyberlight Hand can I deactivate it because I need it place. And I don't know if I need that right now, but I don't deactivate it. Um, yeah, Hunting Shot can deactivate it because I need it place. AKM I don't really need. Um, farmers, I don't really need it. BL guns, I kinda didn't want to use for now because it adds repeaters and revolvers from Borderlands, but the mod got, ne got never finished, so combat rifles, sniper rifles, I don't believe they will ever come out. Trinity shotgun, because it's a nice shotgun, and Jericho is deactivated. It's just. A gun, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, it was just a gun. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Of course, the G36 came out a few days ago, or like one week, one and a half. Very good weapon mod that we don't see in the game yet because we are low level. Same with this. It's a gun, pistol, like revolver, pistol patch, shotgun, fix, fusion gun, official horizon merge pack, um, adds a lot of stuff as you see on the images and it's not only the stuff you see here but um, is there a list in the description? Let me see. Sixteen weapons, five pistols, eight rifles, one SMG, shotgun, explosive weapon. Yeah, and they added they added new stuff. And I added additional stuff like the sniper rifle, the DKS. The Watts laser carbon with China Lake and stuff like that I activated manually. So I save ESPs and its compatibility. The Krebs AK, sniper stuff, like two sniper rifles, I believe. Energy weapon stuff, a texture pack for the S8040. That's the gun that I use at the moment with the very awesome reload sound. A Russian recon pack, but most of the stuff we have never even seen because we are low level. There is even weapon, new weapons that come with level 40 and plus. Of course, the service rifle, SVD-40, the Bosa, AK-5C Nordic Relic, that has a crazy amount of customization. You see there. That's just crazy. Of course, the RPG, the ACRW-17 that we use right now at the moment. The gun can get very crazy with attachments and stuff. Probably give it to a follower later. The Watts laser gun, stair arc, uh, skip it a weapon pack, redux. That's very important pack for me because it adds such awesome looking mini guns and oh my god, so much stuff it adds. Does it say it? Yeah, it has been added to Levit list and you can find it in shops. But I believe they come in in higher levels. Yeah, but I don't believe we've seen them now because we are a little bit too low level. But as you see on the pictures, it adds very, very many guns especially the, the mini guns I like because they look more interesting I would say especially these in the back so yeah 
Uh, the assault rifle, melee combatables, and adventure mod is very interesting. I, I believe the hatchet that I got is from this mod. So it gives you many, many melee weapons that you can find, like a shit ton. So it's interesting in that term. If you like melee weapons, the P90 of course, Scar H, um, and assault carbine stuff, of course, a remote explosives mod for C4 detonators and remote explosives and all that stuff. Assault carbine, that's a patch. Doom based weapons merged is also a very important mod because it also adds a lot of weapons, I believe. Yeah, you see. Yeah, they are in level list. Or you can see locations here, for example. I really like the Rhino M1 revolver or the Mac 11 machine pistol, but I got a feeling the machine pistol will <laughs> just waste my ammo. But it's nice, they have also Desert Eagle stuff, Col uh, AK, all that good stuff. And of course the shotgun. You see the gun looks awesome. So at some point I will get it. I don't remember if it's is it levelless or um No, it's in Trinity Church, wherever that is. So maybe we find it later. Um, yeah, and that's basically everything. Ah, there it is, components redone. Ah, Horizon. Horizon patch. Wait, what? So yeah, if you need help, just tell me and I'm gonna help you. So that's it basically and yeah, I see you guys uh, tomorrow. I will continue playing and yeah, um, anything else? No, I didn't forget anything. Yeah, and, and, and tomorrow we will use the Film Workshop ENB. So, let's see how that looks. And please tell me tomorrow if you if you want me to disab di pfft, disable the special effect. Uh, what is that special effect called? Um, depth of field, yes. Depth of field. Okay, so guys. Uh, thank you and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.